What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is everything from my Blu-ray collection. We're talking steelbooks, Blu-rays, 4Ks, box sets, everything that I own, physical media, starting with the letter K. If you are brand new here on my channel and you love and adore physical media and everything to do with movies, then hit that red subscribe down below as well as that like button, but most importantly, that small notification bell so you don't miss any videos like this in the future. So I believe I started doing this segment series about a year ago now, breaking my collection down by the letter. It's just more convenient in case you don't have the time to watch an entire Blu-ray collection video because I do know those videos are very time consuming. So I figured this would be an easier way. And a year later, we're only up to the letter K. So plenty of more videos are going to be in the future. But as of right now, we're up to the letter K and not as many movies as prior letters, which is actually a good thing because there's less work for me to do putting all these away. So let's get started with steelbooks and box sets. I'll move on to slip covers and then regular Blu-rays and if there's 4Ks in between. All right, so steelbooks, we're starting off with Knives Out because yesterday I did the movies that I plan on watching for Thanksgiving week and Knives Out is definitely one of those titles. So it was right on top. I adore this movie. It's a great murder mystery slash family drama. I highly suggest that you watch it if you have not already. And it's just a great Thanksgiving movie, even though it has nothing to do with Thanksgiving, but it's just got that family drama aspect, which everyone can relate to around the holiday season. All right, let's move on. Plus, I love that steel book because it's like an actual book. Okay, next up is King Kong. I believe this is Peter Jackson's King Kong. There we go. I love that back cover. We have the Kingsman, the Golden Circle. This was a random find, I believe, for $10 at FYE. So that was pretty cool. The Karate Kid Steelbook. I think this was purchased off of Hamilton Book for a very cheap price. I want to say under $10, like $9.99 or something. Great artwork on this. Love the front. I like how Cobra Kai is dominant and then like little Daniel LaRusso is like somewhere on the cover over here. Really teeny tiny and small. Kick-ass Steelbook. And this is a kick-ass Steelbook. It's very, very nice. All right, now we have a couple of box sets. So I didn't have enough Karate Kid. Had to pick up the Karate Kid 4K box set with one, two, and three. There's the front. There is the back. How awesome is this? Like all the characters from the franchise. So awesome. And then, yes, I did pull a very impulsive purchase Blech. <laughs> and that is the Kingsman box set. I was not planning on picking this one up, but I saw it in store and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to get it. So I still haven't watched the third movie yet. I will get to it sometime in the future. I don't know when, but I'll get there. I will get there. It's the story of my life. Never seen it. Don't have time, but I will make time in the future. All right. Let's move on to some slip covers. So Screen Factory, King Kong. This is the King Kong that I grew up watching. Jeff Bridges in this, Jessica Lange, a very janky looking King Kong. <laughs> this is so, so, so before CGI and special effects and all that stuff, but I can appreciate it. I didn't realize how long this movie is. I watched it last year when I picked this one up and it's a long movie. I just did not recall that growing up at all. Krampus, the naughty cut on 4K. Definitely watching that one this holiday season. We've got California with a K. Brad Pitt, Juliette Lewis, shout select title. Pick that one up at FYE as well. Killer Party. This is a fun slasher. If you have not seen this one, it is so fun. The ending will have you roaring with laughter. At least I did. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't necessarily know. If you have seen that movie, comment down below and let me know your thoughts about Killer Party. I'm, I'm curious what other people thought about that film. We got Cuffs with Christian Slater. Okay, so now because I need more Karate Kid, I've got Karate Kid Part 3 and the next Karate Kid with Hilary Swank. 
I picked up the kingdom from somewhere. I believe Dollar General, probably. The King of Comedy. I think this was, I want to say Groove or Hamilton Book. One of those. Either one of those. Kindergarten Cop staple for the Arnold Collection. Knowing this was gifted to me from a subscriber because it came in the double pack with Moonfall. For some reason, if you bought Moonfall, I believe at Walmart, it was joined up with Knowing. And one of my subscribers sent this one over because he knows my love of Nicolas Cage. So there we go. I now have Knowing. I still haven't watched it, but I have it. Kramer versus Kramer. Excited to watch this one. I'm probably going to have a Meryl Streep month. So once that happens... I will be breaking into Kramer versus Kramer. I've got the Kite Runner. Gift from a subscriber. Haven't watched it yet. As well as the Kennedys. This thing is thick. This is like a mini series. It's, I believe, six hours long. So I got to make some time for this one. We're talking like a snowstorm, completely blocked in, not getting out. I'll throw on the Kennedys. <laughs> if I'm absolutely not going anywhere for days, then I'll watch the Kennedys. Got Killer Elite on Blu-ray. Yes, I double dipped and I have Knives Out on Blu-ray with a slip, but I think I'm going to get rid of this one because I do have the 4K Steelbook. And King Richard on 4K. Okay, now what do I have for the last pile? This is the last pile. Can you believe it? See, I told you not a lot of the Ks in my collection. I did end up keeping my Krampus because there were a lot of people commenting when I was thinking about getting rid of this one, when I was purging my Blu-ray collection. Because I have the 4K, why am I keeping this? But some people were saying, Susan, no, keep the Blu-ray. There's something good about it. So I listened to you guys and I kept the Blu-ray for Krampus. Got Kong, Skull Island. Knocked up, unrated. Night and day, underrated Tom Cruise and Cameron Diaz movie. I believe they work really well together. They kind of got the same dynamic as like Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore. You know, like they just, you wouldn't think they would fit together as a dynamic duo on screen, but they do. I would like these two to reunite sometime in the future. Like maybe Tom Cruise can convince Cameron Diaz to come back into, into movies for, for one film. I don't know. I like seeing them together. I really like them in this movie. Underrated film. Got the King's Speech. Kingpin. That one was funny. The King of Staten Island, Pete Davidson. The kids are all right. This is overrated, in my opinion. Why this film was nominated for a slew of Oscars, I am still in a quandary about. I honestly have no idea why. If you guys can tell me, then please let me know down below. Let's have a conversation about this because I just do not understand it. I'm actually thinking about getting rid of it because I don't think I'll ever watch it again, to be honest. Maybe I'll watch it one more time to see if I'm missing anything, but... I don't know. That is overrated to me. I just had to get that off my chest. All right. Kidnap with Halle Berry, slipcover. And of course, <laughs> more Karate Kid. Karate Kid part one and part two. See, I picked these ones up first along with three and the next Karate Kid. And then I picked up the 4K box set. But unfortunately, the 4K box set does not have the next Karate Kid. So I feel like I have to keep all my Blu-rays as a franchise, if you get what I'm saying. So I'm keeping the Blu-rays of Karate Kid. So those are all the movies that I own in my physical media collection, starting with the letter K. Let me know down below how many K movies do you own? Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>